name is Drew Madsen. This is my crib, my uh, cave, where I do all my mainly metal productions. Um, I'm gonna take you for a little tour of my TC equipment and tell you what I used it for and use it for these days. Um, starting here so I don't have to move. We just finished recording the, the new Nemec album and we had the pleasure of getting this Rebel Head bass amp along with the caps but they are packed up now and I'm waiting for the beast man to come pick it up. Um, Oberst Obeast have been playing Ampeg for as long as I can remember and so when we got this uh, system we set it up right next to his Ampeg setup dyed the knobs on his Ampeg stuff so that he got a smile on his face and we thought it sounded like the beast man should sound then we set up the TC stuff right next to it along with the caps and everything and uh, dyed the knobs until he got a smile on his face which was in like five minutes or something and with both amps right next to each other we went back and forth and the difference was incredibly small and if anything I would have to say that the TC equipment sounded more precise and clear and with the extreme low tunings that they use in Nemec they go to a F sharp I think is the lowest uh, string it's some really intense low frequencies to handle for uh, any kind of equipment and um, the TC uh, Rebel had just did a way better job and we used this as the setup for bass on the whole Nimic album and it's incredibly small I want one I need one so I can pack it and take it around the world with me and I will never have problems with poor bass amps anywhere in the world after that. Do you have a theory why uh, the Rebel Head is uh, better at uh, handling uh, the, B, the deep uh, frequencies? I have an idea that uh, without knowing too much about the technical stuff that maybe the reason why the TC is uh, better at handling all the low frequencies is that well Ampeg amps was invented like, I don't know, 200 years ago when basses were four string instruments and tuned in a normal kind of way. And these days, the five string bass is uh, a really common thing for people to play. Plus, I mean, tuning down, especially in metal is uh, pretty much what everybody does. So of course, when you invent a new amp for bass you need to consider that and I'm pretty sure some thought went into that on TC because it really does handle the low frequencies a lot better than uh, the Ampeg stack did. Can you tell us how you uh, made the settings when you recorded the, the bass with a Mimic? Mimic bass sound was no <laughs> you can't remember <laughs> yes it's uh, let me see this is it <laughs> and we used the sans amp for the bass setup the sans amp pedal here which has always been a part of the beast man's sound with pretty much this setting and we did the same and we used the settings of the bass amp like this and um, that was it no more tricks and uh, uh, no secret mm, magic was going on two microphones i used a well nt1000 plus a sure sm57 uh, on the cap 
and very very no EQ was going on during the recording for the mix I applied a compressor and a, a little bit of API EQing and that was it it was uh, what you hear on the album when it comes out in January is pretty much this plus compression so if you get this you get the uh, beastman sound <laughs> right on